of wrestling. We've been really popular up here in Canada, yeah? And his girlfriend taught us some great moves. She was in... <laughs> and his girlfriend taught us some great moves. She was a ninja back in Japan. A ni... What? Uh, let, let's anger. <laughs> All right. All right. And then what? Yeah, I know, right? You should meet her. I. Just go ahead. Make all the noises you want. I'll say all my lines three times. <laughs> <laughs> Washer, by the way. He's a very easygoing guy. Oh yeah, sure. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I know, right? You should meet her. Can't wait. Great. I'll take you by the gym. I'll take you by the gymnasium. Not quite yet, Wendy. Wendy, go, ma'am. I shout it when I wrestle. It's my gimmick. It gets a real big pop from the crowd. Wendy, go. <laughs> okay, Wendy, go. I have to stop. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have one stop to make before I meet your friend. I need to take Randy to Vancouver Island. All right. That first nation... Oh, wait, start. Say I have one stop to the I have one stop to make before I meet your friend. I need to take Randy to Vancouver Island. All right. That first nation's chief. Yes. Of the Pentlatch band? Pentlatch? Yeah, you heard of them? Oh, wait, I have heard of them. I, was, I said, I'm going to tell like I didn't know what the word was. Let me go back and do that again. <laughs> I'll never get tired of this guy. <laughs> they, they say band instead of tribe. He's not actually in a band. It's a oh, yeah, I got all their albums, the Pet Lads. <laughs> <laughs> they were so much better before they got signed. <laughs> uh, that First Nations Chief? Yeah, so the Pentlatch band? Pentlatch? Oh, Pent... It's a question, but... Oh, Pentlatch? Yeah, you heard of them? Oh, goodness. They're a mean bunch. Most of them has been wiped... Most of them have been wiped out over the years, and they aren't very... And most of them have been wiped out over the years, and they aren't very happy about it. Wonderful. I mean, and they aren't very happy about it. <laughs> A boat. A boat. boat. They corrected me. They're like, I sent a boat to, to a Canadian. Yeah. They're like, hey, that's great. What's the say? A boat. And I'm like, why? But yes, a yeah, boat. No, you're right. Boat. Boat. Yeah. Most of them. What? Most of them have been wiped out over the years, and they are very happy about it. Oh wait, they were wiped what? Out. Oh, yes. you're having such a good. <laughs> oh, God, goodness! I'm gonna have to redo all these things in the future. They're a mean bunch. Oh, they're a mean bunch. Most of them have been wiped out over the years, and they haven't... <laughs> 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 I mean, Canadian <laughs> Most of them have been wiped out over the years, and they aren't very happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I don't feel I have much choice, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I don't feel I have very much choice, so... Okay, sure. I'll take you to the ferry then, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my little friend. 
threat. I didn't expect that. <laughs> the captain of the Daedalus? But you are... I thought you were dead. Merely because my airship, my life's work, fell out of the sky? Well, yes. That does tend to kill people. People who do not plan for the inevitable, yes. The kind of people who build spectacular airborne cities also build escape contingencies. Excuse me. Hmm. The kind of people who build spectacular airborne cities also build escape contingencies, should that city give in to the relentless pull of gravity. Whatever happened to the captain goes down with his ship? Let us just say that your masked friend talked me out of it. The unknown? Yes. He gave me a new outlook on life. Did it involve a gun in your face? That is his style, after all. And is your style the persistent ability to wear down others' composure through incessant talking? I see you are still as colorful as ever. Thank you. Hold on. What are you doing here, wherever here is? You are in the catacombs underneath the Shiktar bush. There's no tea. Underneath the Shikar Burj that connects the Sukh Mahal with the Gar Palace. So glad we got that right. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, of course. The escape tunnels between the palaces, should the Rao be attacked. Wait, but how did you find them? By knocking by the car door. you find them? They've been lost for ages. Only lost to those who need not know their location. But... <laughs> <laughs> you know, old reaction. <laughs> <laughs> but, my word, you're the prince, the Maharal's brother. Do not remind me, Mr. Broughton. I've spent my lifetime trying to forget. So, that is how you were able to fund your ship. Ah, and the artwork, it all makes sense now. A lifetime spent with this usurper and his eccentric wastes of riches, and lives for nothing but his own pleasure. Well, he did help us out with the Great War. That was rather kind of him. No doubt to keep the Raj off his back. Wait, did you say usurper? The Maharao has been on the throne for almost 40 years. His father was Maharao. He is not even of our blood. He was adopted. Father chose him as his successor instead of his own children. Oh, oh, I see you're bitter. Once again, you jump to conclusions based only on your self-imposed ignorance. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I nearly lost my temper again. You have a way with people, Mr. Broughton. I'll give you that. It's, in it's entirely habit. Back to your initial question. I am here because my brother tricked me, as I soon tricked you, indulging in his homicidal pleasure of hunting humans. His spider contraption. Yes. Luckily, I managed to elude him in a similar manner to yourself. Ah, so that hole I found was the result of centuries of decay along the tunnel ceiling, yes. <laughs> 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 well, how fortunate for us both. Now we can retreat back to the palace and make our escape. If only it were that easy. My brother made sure I couldn't flee his death trap. The tunnel is blocked on that end. I know some roughage that might help with that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help. <laughs> so we're going to slowly waste away and die like Morlocks in this dark hole. Not... Not so, Mr. Broughton. <laughs> Not so, Mr. Broughton. When I still resided in this land, I used these tunnels for conducting my own scientific adventures. What are you getting at? Have you not wondered the source of this lamp above your head? Huh? Oh, ah, electricity! <laughs> yes, this was once my laboratory. And I left it fully stocked. Cunning! And you've devised a means of escape? No. Your friend, the unknown, taught me that avoiding the world's problems is not the way. I must put an end to my brother's sickness by putting an end to him. Oh my. Follow me. 
I will show you a weapon capable of crushing his itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> <laughs> it's been pressing it. It's spider. Come on, that's not hurt. What's wrong with you? Show you a weapon. This is your 